and today we're going to be going over the eight dot cases for one look OLL. Dot cases are actually quite rare. In fact, there's only a 12.5% chance of having none of the edges facing up. However, I feel like these algorithms are the best to learn because they will provide the biggest time drop as opposed to solving the cross, then doing the corners. Now, if you ever have a dot case, you can have all the pieces oriented in one step and then go to your PLL. These first two cases have very similar algorithms, so I'm gonna show them back to back. So this case is when you have all corners oriented and no edges oriented. There's only a 0.4% chance of this happening, but it's still good to be thorough in your algorithms. So you can hold it in any way, and then you'll do this algorithm. M, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, M2, U, R, U prime, R prime. So this one starts in a very similar way. So this is when you have two bars of two and two corners facing up in the back or two blinker corners. And then with holding these in the back, you'll do this algorithm. M, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, M prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. So as you can see, this one's very similar, but just instead of doing the R wide move at the end, you just bring the middle up and then do a sledgehammer in. The algorithms for these next two cases are very similar as well. And at first glance, these might seem like the same case. However, one is an anti-soon and one is soon. So for this one, which is where bars are being created on the left, or if you look, the bars on the left side of the dot, you'll hold the corner back here and do this algorithm. F wide, R, U, R prime, U prime, F wide prime, then U, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So it's sort of a two-step algorithm with a U in between. Then for this one, you'll actually hold the corner closer to you, and you'll do a similar algorithm. F wide, R, U, R prime, U prime, F wide prime, then U prime, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. These next two cases are just a series of taking F2L pairs out and then sledgehammering them in. So for this one, which is where you have blocks of three, you'll do this algorithm. R, U2, R prime. R prime, F, R, F prime, U2, R prime, F, R, F prime. This one is similar. So this is when you have a diagonal line. It's the only case like that. However, you have to remember to hold these blocks of two up here in the top left. So you'll do R, U, R prime, U, R prime, F, R, F prime, U2, R prime, F, R, F prime. This next case is, in my opinion, the easiest dot case, and this algorithm is what I used before I learned full one look. So you have a block of three, but then you have two blocks of two. So you'll hold this one in front of you, then you'll do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, and then S, which is moving this middle layer, R, U, R prime, U prime, F wide prime. In direct contrast, this last stock case is probably the hardest to learn, but it's still way more efficient than its two look counterpart. So it's when you have two dots in the back and then a bar of three. So you'll actually hold the bar of three back here and then you'll do this algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U, and then Y prime, so move the whole cube to the left, then R prime, U2, R prime, F, R, F prime. The key to one look OLL is reaction time, so make sure that you can quickly identify these eight cases before moving on to any more algorithms. I hope this video is helpful to you, and for the future, good luck.